Hi, I'm Jess and I'm a senior in industrial design. As one of the co-leads of the SIS challenge, I help manage our visual interface design and our weekly team meetings. Hi, my name is Michael Wang and I'm a RISD Suits NASA co-lead. Uh, my role is to manage the day-to-day -day operations and also be the technical advisor for the designers and developers. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Ashley. I'm one of the co-lead of RISD Suits. I'm also a junior studying industrial design at RISD. Some of my responsibilities include setting up weekly meetings, providing UX help to the design members, and also communicate with the faculty members. Oh, hey guys, my name is Bryce and I'm a senior studying industrial design and I'm the UI UX lead for the egress team. And currently we're responsible for helping develop a process to help astronauts complete egress. Hello, we are the geosampling team. Uh, my name is Yuan Yu. Uh, I'm a sophomore in industrial design. And I'm my name is Dong Yun Shin. I'm a first year graduate student at RISD and my major is industrial design. Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Lee and I'm a freshman in the experimental and foundation studies and I intend to major in industrial design. I'm the UX design lead for the rover commanding feature which is responsible for providing an easy way for the user to input a destination for the rover within the navigation map. Hi, I'm Kea. I am a junior studying industrial design at RISD, and I'm the navigation team lead for this project. Hi, I'm Jess, and I'm a senior in industrial design at RISD. I Sampling has a very simple interface. The astronaut will head over to the rock and find the information associated with the rock. You can also hover over with your RFID scanner to set off a photo burst of three to five images. So we are building a system that will help the astronaut navigate their way across the testing site while also making uh, their way across all points of interest and making them aware of any hazardous obstacles and securing a way for them to make it back to their land or safety. The astronaut inputs the rover destination using the same drop and hold feature as all navigational points or snaps to a preset coordinate using the drop down menu. To accommodate for inaccuracies or mistakes of the drop and hold feature, a directional button pad automatically appears when the pin is confirmed. 